I come to your country uh, in 1970 and 71, 70 and 69, three times all America AAU chaplain. And that's what a lot of people don't know or don't realize is where you were and what you did, especially specifically here in the Midwest, before getting into what they call the spotlight of uh, being the WWF. Chief. Exactly. And uh, after um, after many years, five years, arresting Midwest for Mr. Gorgonia, and all of a sudden, I was in Georgia, and I arrested for Mr. Ted Turner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Ted Turner invited me to the Georgia. I was in the Georgia, and all of a sudden, Mr. McMahon called me from Georgia. I went to the Big Apple. Yeah. I went to the Big Apple, New York, and Mr. McMahon Sr. booked me to the Kuwait. I went to Kuwait, and I come back, and I was the first Middle Eastern to come WWF champion. Well, six years, nobody beat greatest wrestler. As a matter of fact, he was from Midwest too, Mr. Bob Buckland from Minnesota. Yeah. Six years, nobody beat Mr. Bob Buckland. I beat him in the Madison Square Garden, New York, the most famous arena in the world. And then, after that, I lost my belt. Well, then, let's go back to that for a minute, because that's one of the most prevalent images burned in a lot of fans' heads, is that match at Madison Square Garden, where you had Bob Backlund in the camel clutch, and you, the towel got thrown in by Arnold Scotland. The match was over. We had a new champion, and a new era had dawned in the WWF. Absolutely. Exactly. I, um, I won the match. Six years, nobody beat Mr. Bob Backlund. I beat him. And all of a sudden, and they tell me I have to lose the belt to Hulk Hogan. But, <laughs> to Hulk Hogan. But, At the time, right? Exactly. But uh, I tell to Mr. Um, Mr. McMahon, my coach, Mr. Gorgonia, call me, tell me, Castro, don't lose the belt to Hulk Hogan, break his leg, take the belt, come back to Minnesota, I'll give you $100,000. But I'm a Shia Muslim. The hand feed me. I cannot cut that hand. I tell Mr. Wunganian, I'll let you know after 24 hours. I go talk to my friend, friend of mine, Mr. Sergeant Slaughter, and my wife. I tell him my coach called me and he told me, don't drop the belt to Hulk Hogan, break his fucking leg, and take the belt, come to Minnesota, and he's going to give me $100,000. At the time, there was a huge battle going on in the territories of professional wrestling, which a lot of our fans nowadays don't know about the fact that there were even territories. Absolutely, because that days, like you said, we had a lot of territory. And one of the top territory was Midwest, mm -hmm. Minnesota, and then Charlotte, and New York. So I'm already in New York, I'm a champion, and my coach, Mr. Burgania, called me, he told me, Castro. Don't drop the belt to him, break his leg, come back home. I said, Coach, I'll let you know. But my average is between ten to fifteen thousand dollars a week. And Mr. McMahon, he took care of me A to the Z. He was a good man, God bless me, passed away. But like I said, I'm a Shia Muslim. The hand beat me, I cannot buy that hand. And I didn't go. But Hulk Hogan, you know. And I take you in the locker room before I lose my belt to you. And you come to me, tell me, Shiki baby, I love you, I owe you one. But Hulk Hogan, also, you are a gold digger. After I lost my belt to you, you forgot about me. But the reason I did that, not for you, for God and Jesus and Mr. McMahon Senior. So, and that's a famous match, Madison Square Garden. You know, when you talk about the legend of the Iron Sheik, Hall of Famer, the Iron Sheik. You think of the boots. Thank you, Where sir. did those curly boots come from? Uh, there's a story behind those, correct? Well, uh, the curly boots is an uh, old tradition in all country, Persia. I'm a real Iranian, oldest country in the world. And we wear that old uh, boots in the desert for a camel. Yeah. And also my cousin, Eddie Farhat, the Sheik from Detroit, and uh, he told me, if you are from our country, always wear that boots. Uh, and my cousin, 
Teddy Farrer had all chic, yeah. and, and he told me about the boots. And that boots is a tradition. The only person who have that boots is a sheik, or a sheik. Exactly. And you talk about Hulk Hogan, and you talk about what happened after that. <coughs> uh, the, 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 there's no doubt that you were part of the birth of Hulkamania, if you will. But after that match, as you say, Hulk Hogan forgot about you. We sort of saw the Iron Sheik go back off into the shadows a little after carrying the company for so long as the champion. How did that make you feel? Exactly. All intelligent wrestling fans in America, they know who was the champion before Mr. Hulk Hogan, Iron Sheik. And also, tag team champion, Nikola Volkov and Iron Sheik. So, and to admit it to be a Holy Fame, and I'm from I'm very, very happy to be with you today to talk to you, David, and I'm very glad to be in Milwaukee uh, and for the show up. But all intelligent my wrestling friends know, I'm the real Middle Eastern, I'm a real Shia Muslim, I'm born Tehran, Iran, all this country in the Middle East, but I made it Mecca of the arena, Madison Square Garden, New York. Hope Hogan, Everybody know, if he was not from me, you never can be like Mike Jordan, like Muhammad Ali, because I made you to be like Mike Jordan in the wrestling history of the WWF, or Muhammad Ali, the greatest in the world, my brother. And I want to say, without me, Hulk Hogan, you be a guitar player, you work in some gay bar, or doing your bodybuilding, but I am the real all America. I born Iran, but I made it America because I am all America gold medal three times AAU amateur athletic union. You never been through to the amateur athletic union. If you come into the Midwest, if you come into the Minnesota, ask all my Minnesota wrestling club. They know Khosro Vaziri. Aaron Sheikh, he is the number one, not you. And welcome home to the Midwest. Exactly. In closing, Thank you very much. In closing, you are truly a legend. And only inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame recently, long overdue before it actually happened. Glad that you were able to finally get your due in that regard. Our viewers all over the world certainly will appreciate the time you've chosen to spend with us. And I'd like to say thank you again. Oh, thank you again. And, and, also, and also, Recently, Mr. Um, Howard Stern, uh, you know who is Howard Stern oh, yeah. in New York. He invited me to his, his, uh, to his company, they call it Killer Comedian, uh -huh. and I'm part of Howard Stern, Killer Comedian, number one radio station in the world, Howard Stern, 101, and God bless Howard Stern, God bless Killer Comedian, and God bless uh, David Hero or all my friends in Milwaukee to invite me in the Milwaukee. And I want to say again, God bless all my wrestling friends and have a good day. Thank you very much, Iron Chief. Thank you.